Up for discussion on day one down in Montgomery is Alabama's grocery tax. Let's bring in Way 31's Georgia Clark now. Georgia, you spoke with shoppers today about the 4% tax still on the books. Yes, Marie, and Alabama is one of three states that still does the full tax with no relief from the state on groceries and food items. This leaves all of us paying more than 9% in combined sales and grocery taxes every time we go to the store. One shopper outside the Star Discount Market tells me going away with the grocery tax would benefit all of us. Taxes properly used are good for the economy. That being said, Things like grocery taxes, everybody knows what it's like to go into any grocery store and spend money uh, on their groceries and then be hit with tax. So I think money that uh, can be left in the pockets of average Americans is a good thing. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, grocery prices are up 10 percent since January of last year. So those extra dollars going towards grocery tax could be money saved or spent on more groceries for struggling families. Now, the first reading to repeal the state grocery tax, ha tax happened today in the state house, and we will continue to keep you updated on this as it progresses. Reporting live in Huntsville, Georgia Clark, Way 31 News. State lawmakers are also expected to debate tax rebates, tax cuts, school vouchers, and how to spend millions in surplus funds. The state superintendent already proposed a plan to put a majority of those funds towards public education.